G'day everyone, Prep Aussie here. I hope you're all well in whatever part of the world you're watching this video. Today is Wednesday the 2nd of October 2019 and the time here is 08.55 Australian Eastern Standard Time. Well folks, uh, plenty to go through. Uh, first of all, let me say thank you massively to everyone for all your support. Um, going through you know the comments from my last video it's nice to know that people do care and it's nice to know that we actually have a good community i've been watching the comments when obviously when things first start people don't comment on each other's comments but it's been nice to know that people are actually communicating between each other now which is a good thing um so having said that let's get into business this is the sponsor of my show totally awesome um, who make golden activated turmeric paste. If you have not tried it, you need to. If you have joint pain, uh, swelling of any type, get this stuff, folks. It is magnificent. It really does work. Um, I've been using it now for a, about a year now. I think we started the sponsorship. Um, and look, there's no money that changes hand between me and the guys. They just give me a, a, a tub of... Um, not a tub, a jar of turmeric paste, or as you guys say, turmeric paste every now and again. And um, it actually works, folks. Look, I'm not lying. I wouldn't be shoving this stuff out there if it didn't work. They've also got choco bonds, and you can even use it for your dogs. Now, they have an offer at the moment going for going half price on anybody from the UK who wants to try this stuff. So they'll go half price on your first delivery. After that, you're on your own, but to get the stuff to the UK, they will go half price. Now there's the contact details. You can see them at Bundles Farmers Market every Sunday, six to 12, and their contactors contact us there. Email 0433 or info at totallyrawesome.com.au. Great little Aussie business, folks. Right. Let's get back to it. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know where to actually start with this. This is so bloody amazing. Yesterday, um, the sorry, let me fix my shirt up. The Royal Bank of Australia cut the interest rate to zero point seven five percent that's right now let's get to the basics of this and and the actual feasibility of this and none of this is financial advice i'm not a financial advisor but i'm someone who monitors this stuff really closely right you get to one percent you can't raise your interest rates ever again you can but as soon as you do that then a lot of people are going to go broke. Re, you know, let's say you take it to 2%. The same thing quantifies. Um, now, 0.75% and even 50% that they're talking about next month, dropping it to 50, is effectively saying we can't do any more. Now, the problem with that is that all the little piggies, they're all going to come to the trough. They're going to gorge themselves on this money and the low debt payments, interest payments. They're going to over leverage themselves and then it goes pop. Okay. Now you all know that anyway. If you've been watching this show, you know that that's what's going to happen. But here's the big but. When? When is this going to happen? So let's just have a look at the news here. RBA Governor Philip Lowe says further interest rates cuts inevitable as he calls for government action. Okay. So if you have any idea about what's going on at the moment, right? The government debt, let's have a look at that. 
Well, folks, I can't find the debt clock that I usually use. So um, I'm going to have to show you a different one, but you'll get the picture. We'll go through it. 443 plus billion. Now, the, that's wrong. It's incorrect. It's actually more than that, a lot more than that. But I can't find the one that I used to use. It's not on there. It's not coming up on Google. Maybe they've actually gotten rid of it for, for good reason. I'll try and find it later. Um, look, the only thing that is going to keep this beast, this global beast alive at the moment is um, debt. You can't, you can't, um, for example, you can't make things work by just saying, okay, well, you investors over there, you put all your money into that and then we'll get it going because that's not going to work. Um, ironically, yesterday, I'll show you actually, hang on. This is also an article from, um, sorry folks, dogs just went ballistic. Okay, this is an article yes, that's in today's ABC. Donald Trump slams pathetic Federal Reserve and Wall Street tumbles as US factory activity hits 10 year low. Okay, well why is that article so important? Um, it's because of the fact that the US is booming, absolutely booming, but their factory output is at a 10 year low. Well, hang on a minute. I thought the US was actually going that way. Like everything's peaking every time you watch Fox or whatever, you know, they tell you um, there's the least black, Hispanic, women working, everything, the parameters are off the chart. So how come you have these reports where it's 10 year factory, the lowest factory reports in 10 years? So let's go back 10 years. That's Obama's time. 10 years is what? GFC, 2009. So think about that. Okay, you've got to, you've got to actually read between the lines. So the factory output in the US is at a 10 year low. Go back 10 years, it's at the peak of the GFC. Think about that. But apparently everything's booming. So how can everything be booming in America? Very simply, feeding the debt animal more money, more debt to keep the debt that's already going, going. This is not rocket science, folks. My message today, right, and this is not financial advice or anything like that. We're trying to, just take us for example as a family, we're trying to transfer our funds to these no, no interest rate credit card deals. You try find them on at the moment. They've gone from offering 0% on every credit card to now 5.6%, 7% or higher. So if you're kind of like us and you're stuck in that uh, credit card crunch, so to speak, trying to pay off your debt, then you are really going to struggle trying to find a credit card that's got 0% interest at the moment. And my eye, my wife's eyes went like that when she finally realized that I was right. I've been telling her for ages, this is, this is what's going to happen. And she's just like, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Don't tell me, I don't want to hear, blah, 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 blah. Doomsday, man. <clears throat> so when this all came to pass yesterday, she or over the last week, she looked at me and went, wow, can't get any, there's no interest rates. In. I said, there's not going to be any more. But... Okay, so if you're like us, you've got a bit of credit card debt, you've got your mortgages, etc. 
our mortgage is actually coming to a, a secure mortgage is finishing next year. If you have any brains at all, any, go into your bank and secure your mortgage for the next three years, even five if you want, because the rate on the interest rates for the mortgages is going to its lowest level ever. And it may go lower, but who gives a shit? If you're at historically low, and this is the way you need to think about this, folks. If you are at historically low mortgage interest rate repayments now, fix it for the next couple of years. You're an absolute lunatic if you don't. And that's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but that's just common bloody sense. Like we're, we're going to go through that process because you need to. You need to make sure that at least your house mortgage is secure because the credit card debt is going to explode. Now, if you're 55 like me, 55, 56, whatever I am, if you remember 1990s in the recession we had to have, credit card repayment interest rates went up to something like between 30 and 40%. And for anyone out there that's younger than us and doesn't remember the 90s, the people that do remember the 90s will know that well, I am 100% telling the truth. House interest rates went to 15, I think it was, 18%. You literally had people walking out of their houses, leaving everything in their house because they, it was all on interest anyway and it was all on credit card debt. It wasn't so much the interest rate payments that crippled people, it was actually the credit card debt that crippled the country. So they're gonna try and come in the back door to take your house off you, maybe, because of your credit card debt. So you need to be savvy, street savvy. Now, sorry, how long have we got? We're 12 minutes, I don't wanna to go too much longer. <clears throat> right. The idea of this show is to warn people like you, if you're listening to this, you're a first time Australian listening to this, I'm not gonna sit here and go, oh, you need to get everything ready because it's gonna collapse tomorrow. Look, I thought that three years ago and everything's still going because they've manufactured the debt to keep going. So they're just feeding this massive debt monster every day. So you need, you need to be street savvy, and the idea of the show is to actually help people prepare for what's coming. There was someone wrote in the other day, or well, a couple of people did, a lot of people did actually, and said, "You know what? I've had, you know what, prep. I've had stuff here for three years, and I've never used it because they people have always been saying it's going to go up." Well, here's something that may interest you. You need to refresh your stocks, okay, all the time. My family, I've got 10 or so bloody bins, you know, for food preparation, etc. Now, my wife decided to start getting rid of some of them or refresh them. Now, <laughs> and here's the funny thing, use by dates. Use by dates are just about there's no look unless you're eating an open tin of tuna that's got a use by that yeah i'd probably say that would be a bit off now out of all she picked three or four boxes i think so we could recycle and re refresh them there was not one bit of food that we threw away not one out of those boxes and we've restocked our cupboards now and reduced our shopping bill down to absolute bare minimum because of the bomb, because of the bins, the boxes. So if you have boxes, start recycling them. What I mean by that is replacing the food. Take the food out of the box, if it's in tins, etc., put them in your cupboard and use them. Start using them now. Refresh your boxes with new stuff. Now, can I just say, most of that stuff I bought either on sale or Woolies or Coles home brand stuff. So I bargain hunted the majority of the stuff. Now I bought, now this will make you laugh. I bought Coles, Coles make these huge bags of, 
uh, pasta stuff, regardless of whether it's spaghetti or spirals. Or the bags for the spirals are like two kilograms for about a dollar twenty, something stupid like that. And I bought copious amounts of them. Three, four years later, we are now eating those, and there's nothing wrong with them. Absolutely nothing. So my point being. Forget about use by date on a lot of things. Don't the only thing that I know won't last is dairy products. Okay, don't buy any dairy products thinking they're going to last you for four years, especially condensed milk because it's got this sediment in it that sits at the bottom, and you have to keep turning the tin, otherwise it goes off real quick. That's the only thing that I've known that doesn't go off. If you know of anything else, like let us all know. Put us on. Put it on the comments thing. Now, this is really, really the point where you have to start preparing because this thing's going to blow up, whether it's next month. If you read Trump's comments, the day that Trump comes out and says, I am attaching the US dollar because he's getting pissed off of the Fed and he's trying to break away from the Fed, remember, the only way Trump can break away from the Fed and leave the Fed standing there holding its balls is by coming out and saying, as of today, US dollar is ta is back on the gold standard. They that is literally pulling the rug out of under the feet of the US Federal Reserve and the reserves around the world. So when Trump says that, you know for a fact that that's the day that we're in ultimate war, civil war within countries because the day Trump does that, then you actually have a standalone Fed with its own money. And then you're going to have a standalone US dollar backed by the gold standard. What do you think is going to happen to the US dollar the day he does that? It's going to go through the roof. What do you think is going to happen to gold on the day he does that? Through the roof. What do you think is going to happen to silver? Through the roof. Now, one last thing if you're in Australia, and this is really, really important, and a lot of people aren't talking about it, and you need to. We have this year, or we will have, the lowest recorded grain surplus ever because most of the grain is actually now being diverted to the farmers who are so in severe drought. So, once again, prices of things are going to go up. Now, I bought, if you, for example, let's go back to me, for example. I bought five banana trees two years ago, and they're going to fruit soon. I got 12 chickens. All of this is like a little hobby farm. I've now got my compost pile ready, which I'm going to incorporate into my veggie gardens, blah, 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 blah. You can do all of that in, say you're living in a suburban suburb in Perth, and you've got a 700 block. I used to have a hobby, hobby farm on my 700 block. People used to laugh, but we were self-sufficient. On a 700 block, well, it was 730, but you know, I made all the available ground uh, producing ground. I even had six chickens in Perth on a 700 block. So, I'm going to say this probably a lot in the next few weeks you're out of time. It's as simple as that. I don't think there's much point. I'm going to focus mainly on the financials. Next time I'll do the trading economics website and you can actually see the parameters of what you're dealing with. So if you can, please send this message to every Australian that you can find, even Americans. You know, send this, send this dopey Australian to everyone that you can seek out and find, okay? Because we're now at the end game, folks. There is no more. There's going to be a mad rush to zero on the, on world interest rates. And as I said, and then Trump's going to go, you know what, I'm sick of this. We're going to go back on the gold standard. The day he does that is the day that the footy gets kicked over the black dot. Right, let's go to prayers. Folks, I'm not actually sure if that worked just then. Um, I'm not sure if I pressed the right button. Let me go through it again, just in case 
And let me reiterate exactly what I just said, just in case I didn't record it. There will be no more interest rate cuts, very little, if any, from the big four banks in Australia. They have to get their money to lend to you and me from overseas. If the RBA rate here is 0.75%, if I'm sitting in America, I'm looking at that going, Phew, how am I going to get my money back on that? So the interest rate coming from overseas banks, the intra-bank lending rate will skyrocket if they can get any money at all. Because technically, the banks know this. You're insolvent once you go past, let's just say 2% interest rates. So technically, everybody's trading insolvent, but I'll show you that in Trading Economics Week page tomorrow. Right. But there's no more leverage room for the big banks to pass on the rate unless they do one or two things, put up your credit card or put up your mortgages to make them money. Okay, if I double that up, I'm sorry, but I wasn't sure if I'd press the button or not. Okay, verse of the day. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. That's a good message for Trump, isn't it? Pass it on to Trump, guys. He probably needs it. Probably. And as always, folks, we'll end with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Oh, that's a big strong. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Right, I don't say this very often, but can you please get this message out to as many people as you can? Because we're there, you know, it's it's all over. You can't go up after going down. It's just not possible. Fiat money system doesn't work that way. So we're cooked. We're done. Okay, all right. I'll prep. God bless everyone and prep out.